everyone, this is Father Ken again uh, uh, with this uh, Nuggets for the Soul short videos. And maybe you'll notice uh, that I'm wearing this uh, Superman sweater just given to me. And whenever I would wear this, people would call me Super Ken. And when I'm not wearing this, people are calling me Clark Ken. Okay? Maybe right now you know that I like to play around with my name. And uh, yeah, so. I just want to greet everybody a happy Easter and uh, we're in the octave of Easter and the culmination of that is this Sunday, which is Divine Mercy Sunday. Uh, so I'd just like to uh, give a testimony of how I experienced the Divine Mercy of, uh, of, of God in my life. Two Saturdays ago, I was driving, coming back from, from Cumbermere to come back here to Ottawa and I was like driving. So it's a, a two and a half hour drive and while driving, I fell asleep and the car swerved and went to the right and it hit the guardrail. And when, when it hit the guardrail, I woke up, I pressed on the accelerator uh, of, of the car. And I'm glad that there was no car before me, behind me, and, and, and beside me, because uh, it could be a, there could be a, a, a bigger accident. And I'm glad that there was a guardrail there because, uh, or else you know, I, I, I could have gone to the ditch and I, I don't know what, what, what could happen. So I stopped when, when I hit the guardrail, and I felt very sad because uh, I, I love my car. It's, a, it's an old 15-year-old uh, Toyota Prius hybrid, and I was hoping that uh, I would be able to use that car for the rest of my priesthood, so for another 25 years. And I, I saw the damage, it's kind of big, and uh, I thought that it will cost a lot, really, and if it costs a lot, then it's not worth it. So uh, I was able to continue driving, c come back here to Ottawa, and just, just really thanking God, you know, for, for, for His divine mercy, you know, my, 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 my guardian angel is there really to, to, to protect me. And, but imagine if I die, you know, if I die that, that, in that accident, parishioners of St. Mary's would say that I'm prophetic. Why? Because five weeks ago, uh, that's during Lent, I gave a homily about telling them about one of my, the, one of my Lenten projects is planning my funeral. So I picked up uh, the readings for the day, uh, for, for that funeral, the songs. I even came up with a funeral mass program, okay? Uh, and uh, it says, uh, so, and I even went to the, the, the uh, a funeral par parlor to canvas about, you know, uh, how, much, how much will it cost? And I realized that it's so expensive to die. And uh, so I did that. Uh, maybe you're saying, you know, this Father Ken is crazy. Uh, but I'm doing that really to prepare myself, you know, uh, because I, don't, I, I know I would die. I just don't know when and how. Uh, and this could be the day. So imagine if I died in that accident, you know, five, four weeks after giving that homily. My parishioners would say, Father Ken is very prophetic. <laughs> so, uh, so, you know, the Lord, the Lord has been very merciful to me. You know, I, I got uh, my, my car back. Uh, it has been repaired and it uh, did, did, didn't cost me a lot. So I'm glad. And uh, uh, it, it's like my car resurrected from the dead uh, after being in the car shop, car body shop for, for, for during, during the Holy Week. So share something that you've experienced the divine mercy of God. And write down in the, in, in, uh, under the column there, just a short one. And whenever you give testimony, you are giving glory to God. And you want to give thanks to God for the mercy that you have experienced. And when also when you give testimony, testimony also means do it again, okay? So whenever people will hear or read your testimony, you are praying that the Lord will do to them what the Lord did to you. Amen? Okay. So I just encourage everybody, be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you. Mm -hmm.